Well, hello everyone and welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a very interesting way of welding without a welder. I know that sounds kind of odd, but yes, you can weld without a dedicated welder. And how, you might ask? Well, you can actually use some car batteries and some jumper cables. Now, you are gonna need a welding, well, welding rod, okay? Uh, but yeah, you can actually weld with batteries. Now, the more batteries you put in series, the stronger of a weld you can have. So if you put two batteries together, two 12 volt batteries, you're gonna get 24 volts. You can weld, you know, a certain thickness of metal. We're gonna be experimenting how thick you can weld and how well good it welds. But the more batteries you add into series, like next one would be 36 volt, you can weld some really thick metal and then you can go on and so on, put, you know, 48, um, and then and then on and on, and it actually makes a stronger weld. So uh, let's try it out, see what kind of welds we can get. So guys, here it is. As it looks, it looks kind of complicated with all these wires because I am using jumper cables just to show you that you can actually just do it with jumper cables and batteries. But the way they're actually set up is uh, these batteries, okay, are linked up. Uh, so they're connected from positive to negative right here and then from a positive to negative again and then these two terminals so I got the negative and positive on this sides on these side and um, all I have is one jumper cable over here to hold the metal and then this uh, positive jumper cable over here to hold the rod and that's all it is I know it looks like a lot of wires but it's actually very simple now you can just literally hold the rod I know it's not the best way of holding the rod but you can just pinch it right there okay now you pretty much have a, a st welding stick rod, okay? Let's check it out. I already grinded these things and cleaned them down, so let's see if we can make them up. Well, as you can see, that is, is actually welded pretty darn good. Now, this is uh, obviously not the prettiest weld at all. Uh, I'm not saying I'm a good welder, but it's actually very powerful. It actually melted, melted right through it. So let's see if we can get a, a better weld on this side. <laughs> Yeah, it actually melted it really nice. Let's see if we can actually burn a hole through this eighth inch steel uh, plate. It actually made a hole, by the way. <laughs> if you can see it on this side, that's the back of it. And uh, I ended up getting the rod stuck and it just destroyed it. But you can see it actually, the metal just oozed out of there. And that's just using uh, three batteries. So this is uh, 36 volt. Now, I have a thicker rod. Let's see what this thing does. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm actually gonna be using this uh, stick rod holder. And uh, instead of just using it with jumper cables, I just have the other end, um, just exposed wire. So just so it's easier, instead of holding it inside the uh, inside the uh, jumper cables, which is kind of really hard to hold it in with this, this piece of metal. I'm just gonna be holding it with this, this makes it a little easier. And then I'm just gonna grab this exposed wire, like this, okay? It actually looks like we need a little bit of juice. Let's try to connect four batteries to see how much, to see if that actually helps us create that spark and continue the weld. All right, so I didn't have another jumper cable, but I just stretched with a really thick cable. Um, just, we in, it put it in, in series four of them, so now we have uh, 48 volt. So let's see if this actually will do the trick. Wow, that actually did a really good job. That's with 48 volts, you can weld some really thick stuff. Oh, that actually looks nice. Look at that, guys. Look at that weld. Let's try to do the other side. Wow, it actually welded right through the other side of it. Whoa. 
Guys, look at that. That is actually a really nice weld with four batteries. You get some extremely really nice welds. I mean, that is, that is so strong. Let's see if we can weld a hole right through the plate. Very impressive guys, look at that hole. <laughs> I just, well, you can see all that me metal just melting. That is crazy. Um, yeah, so the thicker the rod, you need more batteries. So let's actually try, let's try welding with a small thin rod with 48 volts. Wow, that is actually really, really nice. Let's see if we can actually use this and slice off uh, the metal. <laughs> Guys, that is impressive. I just literally use this almost like a torch uh, just sliced off that whole corner. Let's try a little bit more. Let's cut it right in half over here. As you can see, this literally just, uh, this literally just sliced this thick metal. This is an eighth of an inch, or maybe it's a little thicker than an eighth. This is actually pretty thick. Just slice it off, almost like a torch. Uh, wow, I'm actually very impressed. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Now, I can't say this is not practical to weld like this, but if you're only gonna need to weld a few times and you have some jumper cables and some batteries kicking around or at least a couple vehicles at your house or your, or your neighborhood, you can literally make a couple quick welds with this. So I think it is practical if you don't ever weld and uh, you just need to do something really quick. So um, I didn't try you know, five batteries or six batteries or seven batteries. Uh, technically, you can go as high as you want as long as you don't burn the terminal between each other. I'm not sure how high you can actually go before the batteries start burning up. Between, I'm not sure how that actually works, but yeah, I'm going to probably test that later down the road. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for the next videos, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss those new videos. See you later.